Okay, it's time for a new mysterious unboxing pickup. Now, this one was quite a, um, a journey in trying to get this particular item. And basically, I ordered the item off of a seller of eBay. Um, the seller had the item at a good price and was very quick to dispatch it. But unfortunately, I um, had problems with the Royal Mail, where um, it was supposed to come um, on a... Um, a week later after after it was dispatched so it should have saved sample it, it would have been the same monday it should have arrived and when i was um tracking the the actual package it was said it was still um at a different sorting office and it was like that for the next couple of days then the tuesday the following day after that um tuesday um evening i got a um email saying that it would be um arriving the next day between um, 12 um, midday and 4 p.m. in the afternoon and then it never arrived so I rang up I was on a, um, I was on a long queue about maybe 10-15 minutes they assured me that it could still come on the Wednesday when I rang and or it probably might come on Thursday and as I was checking again still stuck in another sorting office so Thursday comes along, and when I've checked the tracking of the package, it still says it's still stuck in the in the um, this sort of office, and 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 then I I ring again, and I'm told um, that it probably will come Friday, so it's the next day. So bear in mind now, this is four days late, and and that it would be delivered um, to the um, tracking office, um, not tracking office, to keep tracking it. And it will be sent to my um sorting my local sorting office, and I should get it obviously by Friday. And then so I kept checking, um the tracking number for at, um Thursday afternoon quite vigorously. Again, it's still saying it's at this particular sorting office in London. And then I checked it again, but um maybe towards the, um, the end of the afternoon, and then I get a message saying that the item has been delivered, and I'm like, that's a bit odd because there's not been no doorbell, and I've had nothing been delivered to me in the post so as i've scrolled down they've said oh it's been put in a safe place and all they basically did was left this parcel here um right up um right under my gas meter which is outside which is um, outside of my doorway which you know is a bit of a silly thing to do because also if you've got people walking past there's not a lot of in, um honest people these, these days and i've seen people steal parcels in my area and it could and um, it could have been stolen, and um, so and luckily, if I had kept refreshing it quite, quite vigorously that same day, um, it quite I would have not realized it was there, gone to see if it was there, and it wouldn't have been there. And it's only when I looked at the photograph to say where it was put in a safe place, which wasn't a safe place, and I thought, hang on a minute, that looks like the um out the, my outside wall of, of my doorway. I thought that's it. I recognize it, and then the edge of the gas meter. And then that's where they just left it. So yeah, it could have just been nicked. And it's not, and it's important, it's not many honest people that maybe would have, um, you know, would have um, not done anything. Or you've got neighbours that would have seen it and gone, oh, someone's just left it. So I rang in and I complained. And I've also written a formal complaint um, um, to the Royal Mail, which I'm not, you know, um, expecting anything from from them. Um, or them, or you, you just get the usual apologies and blah, 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 blah. But Anyway, luckily I've managed to get it. So again, a bit a bit of drama that I kind of didn't have to deal with. And again, it and it was and the item was late, which again is no fault of the actual seller on eBay. Um, this was them um, down to the actual um, raw mail service, which I've had a hit and miss history of them. But anyway, and um, as you can see, um, it's very well packaged, as you can see, but it's a good item. And it's an item when I, I've seen other reviewers do it, and it actually looked the particular thing I actually wanted actually looked really, really cool. I was half debating whether or not I should get it or not. But considering that there was only one left, I thought, thought myself, you know what, I might as well get it. Plus, it's free delivery. And it's something that I kind of like in terms of the comic book um, kind of um, mythos that I kind of like. And of this particular character, who's a, let's just say, a very nefarious character in. I was sitting and tell you not none of the character, but he's very nefarious in the in the DC universe in the actual comics, not the the movies. So anyway, without further ado, we shall see if we can open this up. I'm hoping, obviously, that it's in a good condition. 
after its journey, should I say. And the scissors are a bit stiff. And let's see, let's see if we can open this up. See how they've done it. Again, as I can say, it's been very well packaged. Or should I say, I shouldn't really, really care about how the outside of the package is as long as the inner package is well packed. That's the main thing. Um, see how they've packaged this up. You can see that. And with this particular product, I've got actually some other products that are in the same line of work. Which I want to do unboxing of, which I got Christmas, but I haven't got, unfortunately, got round to actually um, filming yet. But I will. And hopefully people do like this once they see what this is. Because I know I, know I certainly did. Again, as I said, it's very well taped up. Um, I want to make sure I don't cut myself in any shape or form. But these scissors are a bit stiff as well. Oh, not only did this have a long journey, but you know what? Let's see if we can just do this. I think that's going to be a lot easier than trying to trying to be completely neat. Um, put this is down there, this particular item. Oh yes, and there we have it. As you can see, in all his glory. See if I can zoom in with the camera, and then obviously we're going to unbox it so you see a total close up of it. Look at this, and it's of the character um, Superboy Prime, and it's part of the DC multi universe. Um, I think it's part of the um, McFarlane um, range. I don't know how far we can zoom in this without obviously doing it. Because obviously we're going to lose the top of it there. And as you can see, that absolutely looks, looks um, great. Um, when I saw the pictures of, um, well, the videos of it on YouTube, um, the actual details of it and didn't, um, well, seeing it in person, don't do it um, any justice. It actually looks really, really, really detailed. Now, you may obviously know of the history of Superboy Prime. Um, and obviously with the solo suit that he's wearing, um, it is different to the one that he wore um, in the comics. Obviously, Ted, um, Ted McFarlane, McFarlane um, um, has put his own spin in it. So it actually looks a little bit different to how um, it was in the comics. So I'll give you like a little brief rundown of the character. Obviously, he's, obviously he's a DC Comics character. He was His first appearance was in um, DC Comics Presents issue 87, and that was November 1985. He was co-created by Elliot S. McGinn, or Mc, or McGinn and Kurt Swan. His alter ego is Kal-El, Clark Kent. Obviously, he's Kryptonian. Birthplace is Earth Prime, born on Krypton. And his team affiliations are the Sinestro Corps, the Legion of um, Supervillains, the Legion of Doom, the Red Lantern um, Corp. Um, the Starfires and the Black Lantern Corps, and these um, other aliases that he's also known as is Superman Prime, Superman Prime, Superboy, and the Time Trapper. Now, this version of um, of Superboy, um, he's from a parallel Earth called um, Earth Prime, and on, on that planet, it's basically meant to be kind of be like our planet. And basically, on that planet, all the superheroes, the DC superheroes, are basically um, fiction. They're basically comic book characters. So they're basically all the adventures that you would have seen in the DC comics um, from that universe never happened. They're just stories that people have read on Earth Prime. And then at the age of um, 15, obviously, this Clark Kent thinks he's human. And obviously, he's a big Superman and DC fan. 
And then at the age of 15, his powers start to develop. But on the Earth Prime um, universe, or Earth, he's the only um, superhero. But unfortunately, um, the Earth Prime universe is erased during the crisis of Infinite Earths, which, which obviously which happened between April 1985 and March 1986. And then Superboy Prime ends up on a paradise dimension and... Um, He's un and then he's unable to let go of his life and of his parents and his girlfriend that he had on on, on that universe because obviously it's been erased. Um. So I'm trying to remember. So during um during our, um during this time, he starts to he starts losing um his mind on in reality. So he starts to go um insane and then psychotic and then murderous and then he ends up becoming a um a sadistic villain and then somehow his powers and speed all seem to increase he's, he's much more ruthless and he ends up coming from a hero to an actual villain and then um the name superboy prime first term, his terminology is used by grant morrison in the dc um saga or it dc one million which i absolutely loved that and that was in 19, 8, 1998 um where was it the Superman in the 853rd century goes by the name of Super of Superman Prime. Um, so then he decides to refer to himself as Superboy Prime in the Infinite Crisis um, issue 2, which was January um, 2006. Um, obviously, you've got the, the events of um, Crisis Infinite Earth, obviously, where he tries to save the um, the, the different multiple Earths from the, um, the Anti-Monitor, but obviously losing um, his Earth which kind of which would which would be unfortunate, and obviously starts bending. And obviously, when you got a person of that magnitude, they start turning nuts. And basically, he lives outside the the outside reality with the other, um, um, or Alexander Luther from another from another dimension, and the other and another older Superman, and Lois Lane from another dimension, because obviously their Earth's been erased. And then basically, what Superboy Prime wants to do. He's, he basically wants to bring back um, his um, Earth Prime by any means necessary. And that means obviously taking on um, all the heroes from Earth One. And then he starts going on a rampage um, in try and even um, killing and maiming some of the uh, um, some of the um, heroes from Earth One. And end up and then ends up becoming jealous of the Superboy clone, um, the Connor Kent. Because he feels as if that he's taken away his life and it should have been his. So they end up having a bust up. And then in the end, um, Superboy ends up um, losing his life. Well, the clone Connor Kent. And then in the end, um, the um, I'm trying to figure it, it's the Wally West and um, Bart Allen. And I'm trying to figure Jay Gareth end up pulling him into pulling um, Superboy Prime into the Speed Force to try and stop him. And then eventually he is trapped by the by the Green Lanterns, who basically um put him inside of a cube and basically the, the Green Lanterns are watch are watching him. And then he ends up carving the Superman symbol into into his chest. And there's been other many appearances of him re reappearing. Um obviously in the Blackest Night and other um different sagas. I'm trying to quickly go through um yeah, he's even joined the Sinestro Corps. Um, countdown to Final Crisis, where his body is overpowered with so much energy that he actually ages, and he ends up wearing a black suit, similar to when the um, the Return of Superman, where Clark came back, obviously with a mullet, black suit, and a silver Superman sign. So he comes back looking a lot older. Um, he then comes back in the Legion of the Free of the Free Worlds, where he comes back as a trapper with there's two versions of him, but the younger version of him and the older version of him, who's a time trapper. So and then they end up battling it out. I'm um, just thinking what, what other appearances that he's had. There's obviously there's Blackest Night as I've mentioned, where he um, where he's been around. The Legion of Doom, DC Rebirth, where he's in prison on the monster um, monster lands before being freed by Doctor Sylvana and Mister Mind, and eventually defeated by the Shazam family. You've got the Dark Knight's Death Metal, where it says here Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman encounter Superboy Prime while fighting. Um, Pierre P Pewter, they convince him to reform and help battle um, 
pure Peter, during which he is transported to a restored Earth Prime and presumed dead. So, as of now, it looks like he has re reformed. Well, who knows? And obviously, he gets back his Earth, and um, obviously, Superman still has faith in reforming him. So, there we have it. So, we have the figure here, and again, as of what it does look like, look like a really nice sculpt. Like I see at the back of it, and then obviously you've got him in the area because it does come with a stand where you can have him flying. So that looks really, really, really cool. And then you've got also Superboy Prime, um, Infinite Crisis, and it says collect them all, um, a collector's tool. Um, I don't know what to say. So you've got the different um, collectors. I think that looks like Shaz Shazam. That looks like him. Or is that Doctor Fate? And you've got all the different cats. And I, have, I do have um, some more figures in the um mcfarlane range that was it from the mcfarlane toys and as you can see it says superboy prime obviously we can see if we can open this up now again um i'm really kind of happy that obviously that it's been um look at the actual condition of it just need to take a quick picture of it because i'm going to obviously write a review on um eBay. I figured it came out all right. So you can take one more. Use my other phone. Or oh, what I might do, I might use my 15 Pro. Because you can obviously, that's got a better camera on it. So bear with me a sec while I boot boot this up. But I'm looking forward to this um figure. Um I do want I do actually really I don't know if there's one available, but I do want to get um a Connor Kent one. Um but the clone one, but I want the one from the um from the um from the Return of Superman, obviously where he's got the leather jacket and stuff. I know you can get the one where he's got the jeans and the black um shirt, but I really want the one from how he looked um when he when he's first appearance. I really do want that one because it's just the way um that's the superboy that I remember the way um that Tom Grammett grew him um sorry drew him. See how this is coming out. Sorry, bear with me again. Okay, that's the best I can do. So now we shall attempt to open this up. So we get a better pair of scissors. So I take it in, you're holding it down here. Try not to destroy the box. Just in case I need someone's need to repackage these things. Again, I'm really happy because obviously the outside of the box that it was packaged in was a bit bashed up. And you can never trust the raw the raw mail in terms of um the condition of it, but at least the, the main box is the thing that obviously that really needs to be the thing that I'm more worried about. Um, you don't. It doesn't come with. Doesn't come with any access, accessories outside of the. Because um, I know with some of the, some of the McFarlane toys or superheroes, um, you can get. Um, as you can see there, you can get um, different heads. And I know with the the um, the Connor Kent one, where he was wearing the jeans and the black sh um, shirt, you can change his hands and his head. Where he's got the shaved head, obviously because it's a clone of Lex Luthor and um, Superman. So we have that. I'm going to take another photograph again, as I said before, because I want to put multiple um, ones up there. And there we have it. Um, it actually looks really good. The blue of the Superman wrestling costume or super costume looks a lot darker than I thought it would be, because obviously um, you kind of would expect... Into, to have um, a more of a blue bulb, so that's because he's evil. Now, it does come with a, um, a card, and obviously you've got the stand, where you can either have him, obviously, standing up, or when you attach this item here, you can actually have him 
hovering in midair. I had something similar to that um, when um, I got the Batman, sorry, the, the, the from the Batman Hush series. Um, I had, I'll actually show you it. It's from the Superman from Batman Hush. And that you could either have him standing or you tuck in his um, boots in. And then you would put the thing at the back. And then that would allow him to hover so it looked like he was hovering. So I do like that. That they did it with their cat super characters that can actually fly. I'm just trying to take out this. Um, does come with a card. And get that into focus there as you can see that's very similar to the artwork that's it's just a smaller version of that that's at the back of there and they'll say something at the back and i need to have to put my glasses on for that to actually see that uh it's actually really small uh it says at the back, um, real name Kalel Clark Kent, adoptive name, a alternate reality of Superman. Superboy Prime comes from Earth, where the DC superheroes and villains are fictional characters until the day his powers are activated, and he became his world's sole superhuman. But after his planet is destroyed in the crisis in Infinite Earths, he became unhinged over time and eventually clashed with the superhero. Heroes of the main DC universe in the infant crisis event. Ultimately, Superboy Prime was defeated and imprisoned in the Source War, the barrier that surrounds the universe, um, only to break free when it, it was destroyed years later. However, when another crisis threatened of all around, Superboy Prime proved himself a hero once again and helped save the DC multiverse. So, yeah, it does look like he's redeemed himself. Well, until the next event that's what you have there we'll try and take out the stand does it, does it come with it now and obviously that comes in it's a translucent plastic and as you can see and then you look there it's just dc you can just about see it and obviously his feet will just go there and then this, obviously slide this bottom bit here will slide into there. And this piece here, um, when opened up, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. When opened up, that is meant to go around his waist. So all that's meant to happen here done this right oh we'll do this in a minute uh figure out how to do this so yeah that would slide in like so so it's pretty easy and we'll get to the main figure himself and get this out Right, and then you can see the back of his cape right there. And that's um, that's rubber. I think this is held by another side so I can get this off. I think I have to get this out because I don't really want to obviously cause any damage. Because his hands look fairly in. as if I could get damaged. Wow, they're really kind of... Um, so let me get them out. Oh. He really doesn't want to come out. Kind of holding him in. Got half of that. Let's 
just, just trying to get him out. Because I don't see what's kind of holding him in. So I do apologise. Oh, okay, I see what it is. There's a little... Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I put my scissors. Uh, where did I put it now? Bear with me. Is what is what's happened is he's been held down by his waist. That's why it's unfortunate, it's so difficult to kind of um get him out. I don't know if I can see it from around there. And I don't know where I put my scissors. Get him out now. Oh god. Straight from, from to have him delivered, that was a pain. And now trying to um get him out. And then there we have it. We have the figure there. And wow, that's very impressive. I'm I'm liking the actual detail there. Now if you compare the actual Superman hush, um, they're roughly about the same height. I would say. Obviously, he's just a little bit more broader. In terms of um, articulation, um, you can move. So you can move his head around there, and you can turn it left and right. But it's a little bit stiff. Um, from his elbows, you can actually bend his elbows. That you can build it from the. Um, from his joint there, but obviously this shoulder pad is actually blocking it. The actual um, rubber tubing is very um, soft, so there's no fear of it, it, it actually breaking. And obviously his fingers don't move. Obviously, um, from his um, wrists, his actual his actual wrists do turn. So you've got pretty much a if you want, if you wanted to, you could do. There's a three hundred sixty degree spin on the actual um, wrist joints and the same thing with the left one as well and when it comes to his stomach it obviously can stand up straight and you can also bend forward as well but um but obviously that's about as far as a, as he can go and obviously him standing up and then obviously he's got the knee joints here but they don't seem to bend that much so from the knee so the knees don't bend a lot um, he, from his he, from his ankles, the ankles do um, move from left to right, but they only do like maybe a hundred and eighty degree turn. And obviously, you can pivot like that. Obviously, you can put his feet like this if you really wanted to. Um, the actual toes, the, sorry, the actual ankles are simple. You can move, and you can move it up and down. The toe thing actually bends as well, but not too far. And obviously, the same with the other foot with that. You've got like maybe 180 degree turn. And then the toes on this actually do bend as well. The actual um, Superman symbol, it's really kind of detailed. Um, it's not flat like um, the the Superman hush one there. As you can see, that's kind of just painted on. So it does give it this um, 3D look. Um, obviously, you can, I would say it's a, good, a pretty good face sculpt there. I do like um, the the hair sculpt, the, the hair sculpt, and obviously you've got the S curl there. I have I have had um, seen reviews of people saying that they think that um, Super Prime has got wonky eyes in terms of they're like looking in the in the wrong direction. Um, I, I do kind of see what they're saying is like he's looking um, elsewhere. Maybe what would have been great is if you had if you could take the head off and have a different head sculpt. So maybe have an angry face look and look, or even a look where he's kind of looking directly at somebody. So that maybe that could have um, been something they could have added. Again, this is the back where you've got the cape, and that's rubber as well. And obviously you've got these um, red trunks, and you've got the tubing on here. That's a lot harder um, than the ones around there. Obviously, the tubing that goes from his hip all the way down to his um, feet. 
that's got pretty um, soft so there's no worry about it it possibly cracking so you don't have to kind of have to worry about that and as i said it's a very good um overall i'm kind of very impressed of it as in terms of the actual sculpt again um what i will i can understand what people are saying about the eye sculpt if you kind of look for yourself you can kind of see and the actual costume design of these um solar uniform solar suit that he's got here is different from the one in um, infinity crisis it does look a little bit different but obviously um, with the mcfarland toys he does um put like his own unique um spin on the actual suits similar thing that he did with the cyborg um there's a cyborg superman one which i would love to sit there and get and if you compare um the mcfarland toys version of the cyborg superman or, or hank hanshaw as he's, or he's formerly known as and you see what he looked like in the return of superman um it, it, it does look a lot different but obviously still cyborg superman so it's obviously very interpretation of the actual character we'll measure him up a little bit so you have a fair idea of how big he is. Um, I can zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to miss his feet, unfortunately. And then we'll put him on the stand as well. So what you can see um, what he looks like. Let me get my tape measure. Okay. In terms of height, um, he's about 20 centimetres in length. So in inches, I'm trying to look, that's probably about, I'd say about the figure's about seven and a half inches. So seven and a half, seven and a half inches and about, tw or in 20 centimeters. So that's roughly how tall um, the actual character is. Um, what I do like about what they've done, if we can zoom this back out again. What I do like about what they've done with the McFarlane figure toys is that I'll show you on the Superman Hush one is, is that unfortunately, so obviously you can move the feet on these, but unfortunately these get a bit loose. And as you can see, the actual joints and it's very kind of very, very, very weak. And then you can see this one, how loose this one is. And this has come off many a time because the only obviously they want you to be able to either have them stand up or in flight or hovering his feet are like that but what i don't like about the, these toys that were made figures that were made a good few years ago is the ball joints on the ankles are very 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 weak but what i do like about what the mcfarlane ones obviously only just on this one i've got a couple more mcfarlane um dc um super um dc super figures that i want to show you in future videos but from what i can see this one the actual ball ball joint is actually a lot more stronger and as you can see a lot more sturdier than the actual um batman superman hush one obviously he's from batman hush but you know when he was poisoned by poison ivy and she took control of him so yeah you can have him standing up and obviously these figures are posables um but i'm not an expert when it comes to posing with these figures now so i can take this off again So we can move this now what you can do is at the base of his feet there he's got holes there so what you can do is if you really just want him to be standing up obviously i'm gonna have to fiddle around with this uh so find the hole because it's so small you can have him standing up on there like that or what you can do is that you can put this around his waist so it looks like he's hovering so what i'll do i'll demonstrate that for you in a minute now obviously what you would do is that you would have to lift up the cape and put it in between his um i think now where i would it's meant, I think it's meant to go is in between here So, actually, it does work. Also, it's going to be a bit more difficult for it for, for to do this because also I need something that is flat. You've got to kind of um, trying to think of how I can do this. 
don't know if this is going to work, but what you could then have him doing, I don't know if this is going to work because I'm doing this on my sofa. But I said, oh, I have to hold it. But what essentially what you can do, obviously, is have him hovering in midair as long as you've got it on a flat surface. So it looks like he's actually um, flying in midair. Similar to if you kind of look on this, it does look like he's hovering. So you could pose it like that. Where um, I'm sort of think on. You could pose his. Oh, it's come off. And you can. Obviously, he's got the joints in it, the hip joints there. And then you, obviously you could pose this, you could pose it like so, and move it in like that, and then have that slightly more hanging out like that. And I don't know how you would do the other leg. So you could sit there and have that. Um, and then obviously you, you've got the joints there, so you can have him like that if you wish so he's kind of hovering and then so we can put his back around the waist again which again i'm gonna have to pose him like at my own pleasure because it's really kind of difficult um trying to get him to stay in, in position i really don't want to um break this so, so as you can see he's kind of if i'm holding it from the base of the stand we set away now you look at the base of the stand he's actually i'm um, hovering but you're obviously gonna have to pose the figure to be able to get him into the flying um, position or the hovering position as to what you want him to do but it does work but yeah that's kind of really really kind of cool that you can kind of can pose the figure to how you kind of want and the leg is, I'm trying to put this back in there. It's it's a bit stiff and trying to put it back into a kind of a position. But part of me is frightened of him actually breaking it, actually. So we've got him like this now. So we'll put him like this for the time, for the rest of the video. So oh, see so if we can get him more centered. But yeah, I'm actually, so we can get him further in there. more that kind of actually looks but yeah he he does actually look like a really um cool figure and i do love the actual attention to detail to the actual character i mean it actually does look really cool and that's what kind of drew me to because people know i'm a big superman fan of all of, of, of he's superboy and what i do like is the background that you got from the dc comics so you can see superman there at the corner there and you've got the green lantern there and I don't know what, what that one is. The world's um, best comics. And you got the world's best comics there. So you got the diff the classic artwork at the back of it. But yeah, this Superboy Prime looks actually looks really good. And I'm, I'm actually um, looking forward to actually showing you the other um, figures that I have actually collected. And I think you're going to actually going to really like them. And as I said, obviously it comes with... And the Superboy Prime card as well, which actually is, is I think, is actually a nice touch um, that you can do. But, but um, yeah, so just now it's going to be a matter of trying to find somewhere where to put this one up. Because <clears throat> I've got so many Superman um, figures all around. But, yeah, I am actually do really like this um, Superboy Prime figure. Let me see if I can kind of... Um, he looks a bit wonky when I'm... In fact, it looks a bit better. Uh, put him more of across here. Is that better? A little bit better. I think it's a good thing I use with the white background because um, obviously with the red and the blue. But yeah, it actually does look really good. Let me see if I can zoom in it a little bit more. If I can get him a little bit more, I think that's a lot better in terms of the actual image. So I can get him a little bit more centered. I 
I was trying to sit there and get the perfect. Yeah, let's probably see how it looks on camera. But yeah, that actually does look good. But again, as I said, I'm, I'm really impressed with the actual um, sculpt. It's a, I think it's a, actually a perfect height. Again, the face sculpt is really good. Again, I can see what the, the problems that people are having with the actual eyes. Um, the Superman symbol that's on his chest. Absolutely love the way that they gave it that um, the three D look. So it actually gives it, so it actually pops out. And um, I do love the cape. So it's rubber and it looks like it's flowing. Similar to the Batman Superman stroke hush figure, obviously, but that one's in tatters. Um, I do love the boots and I do love the actual tubing that's coming from his arms or both arms and both of his legs. And I do love the material that they're using. Hopefully over time that won't cause a problem in terms of, in terms of the, the rubber actually hardening. But that doesn't look like it's kind of, it will be doing something like that. Because it, it's nothing worse than you kind of moving the figure around and then falls um pipe those holes in that you got them in, end up ripping so yeah i'm actually really impressed with this and of all the problems i had in trying to get it in the first place i'm really finally glad that i actually do have it so this is the mcfarlane toys superboy prime from the multiverse so again um i'm really looking forward to doing the um the other um figures in the mcfarlane um series and hopefully in the future we'll be getting more Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and please feel free to share your friends and family. Also, you can give this video a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate that. That will allow people to find my YouTube channel and content. This is because of the YouTube recommendation, recommendation page um, only shows the bigger YouTubers and their content. So that, that allowed allow me to find um, new subscribers and people to see my content. Speaking of su subscribing, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, subscribe if you want to see unboxing stuff like this food drink reviews comic book related stuff like obviously like this comic books old and new graphic novels um my blu-ray and dvd collection my blu-ray still book collection video game play um video um game unboxings um gadgets electrical goods um clothing pickups you name it i pretty much almost do everything that's about my channel so please consider subscribing to my youtube channel um if you um just before christmas we hit 500 subs um, a few, few months ago we hit 600 and now we're on our way and we're just a little bit away now a tiny bit away a couple of subs away from 700 subs so a big thank you to the subs old and new without you guys i would not be where i am today you guys make the channel although i'm the one that's making the, the content sometimes long sometimes short but without you guys you guys are the real stars of the of the youtube channel with um make getting me from the where i started from from 13 subs to now nearly 700 sub subs so a big thank you to all of you and i really appreciate you all um the next big marathon will be a thousand youtube subs hopefully we'll get there sooner rather than later um so yeah i don't know what we'll do for that but you know it's gonna be a long way before we get there um i also live stream on twitch sometimes um something but i've got no set days because this thing's gonna my life and health it's the same name as my YouTube channel, just with the 76. I will put the description, the link in the description box. I'm trying to get affiliated on um, Twitch as well. Um, videos in there, I archive them, but because I'm not affiliated, they only stay in there for a short while and then they disappear because obviously they keep changing the rules for a minute. If the videos aren't um, copyright claimed, then I usually export them to YouTube, like for example, what I've done with Forza. So um, catch me on there. If you if you really if you want if you've got Twitch and want to follow me, also I also live stream on Twitch on very rare, rare occasions. I've just started doing EA Sports um, FC twenty four um, on the PS five. Big deal live streams about. So um, um, th that's totally random. So if you're already subscribed to my channel, you'll you'll see that you can watch it live, or it's going to be archived on YouTube anyway, so you can watch it at your own desire. So um, yeah, follow me on there as well, which maybe you already are. And it just leads me to say, um, wherever you are in the world, um, please stay safe. And I will speak to you again on the next video. Bye for now.